Now, in business, the Attorney General has described a proposal by founder of Capital Bank, William Atwesian, to refund 27 million Ghana cities to the state as totally unacceptable. The state has meanwhile pressed three new charges against the founder of Unibank, Dr. Kwabna Dufour, bringing charges up to 71 from an initial 68. Joining us via Zoom is Joseph Akablay with the latest. Now, Joe, do we know why the state believes the terms are unfavorable? Uh, Daniel, we don't know the specific details, uh, the reason behind the state's decision to describe it as unacceptable, but we know uh, what the terms of that agreement was. Uh, the first was that they were supposed to pay an amount of 27.5 million cities. Uh, he also had indicated they had already paid some 1.4 million cities to the state, and then some uh, cars, more than 10 of them, which he said he had brought into the country that was in the custody of the Economic and Organized Crime Office. And so th that was part of the proposal that was presented. But uh, Chief State Attorney Marina Apia Opari informed the court that that proposal is totally unacceptable. The state didn't like the terms of it, and so the state has rejected it. And we understand that uh, Mr. Essien has since uh, immediately submitted fresh proposal to the state for consideration, Daniel. Do we know the details of that fresh proposal? We don't know what the specifics are, but we understand that it's quite an improvement in terms of the terms that has been presented. And again, the state's making the point that it doesn't want uh, the trial to be delayed as a result of negotiations with Mr. Essien, uh, because the charges involved, there are 26 charges, there are three others who are standing trial with him. And the negotiations relate to just four of the charges against Mr. Essien. And so the chief attorney informed the court that I mean, if at the next date, which is July 9, uh, they are unable to reach an agreement with him, the state is ready to proceed with the case. If they even reach an agreement, they will be willing to proceed with the case. And so for now, the state will be considering a new agreement and will give the court a response on July 9 as to whether or not it has accepted a new proposal from Mr. Essien to refund some 275 million cities to the state. We understand the state needs to understand in specific terms the period of repayment, need to have some assurances relating to the mode of repayment, among other things. And once those things are clarified, uh, it should be good enough for the state to accept and proceed. So if I'm to understand you well, Joseph, the amount will not change. Is there the mode of payment? The amount is not changing. It's just okay. the mode of payment and how swift it will be. Uh, they understand that it has to be of a nature that the state can be sure that it's getting its money back and so that is what is in contention now thanks joe now related to this case is the unibank one new charges have been filed by the prosecution do we know what these charges are uh, the three new charges relates to a uh, falsification of documents you understand the accounts of uh, unibank some documents relating to it were falsified uh, which you understand again raises an issue of defrauding and so uh, those are the three new issues that the state prosecutors have brought to the courts and so they ask that the judge strikes out the old charge sheet and, and accepts the new one. And so that was granted by Justice Bright Mensah, uh, who accepted that. And the accused persons were made to once again state their plea. All of them again pleaded not guilty to the charges against them. And so with that particular case, to the court has adjourned proceedings to the 16th of July for case management conference. So will this in any way delay the initial case? If not for the uh, replacing of uh, the charge sheet, it would have meant that the agenda for today would obviously have been at the start of trial because the AG has been able to carry out the disclosure. They've made available all the evidence and in the form of documents that they intend to use against the accused persons. But once this was carried out, the substitution was done, the court had to take some time of, for proceedings to commence fully on July But did the AG Joseph give us any reason for waiting till now to add these charges? We understand that it's in the course of doing the disclosures and putting together the documents, uh, those are fresh uh, facts that came to the knowledge of the state. The state says it doesn't change its case substantially since the facts support it, but it felt that those additional charges are in terms of crimes that they think have been committed and they need to add those crimes onto the crimes that they've already leveled against them. Thank you, Joseph, for bringing us those updates. Joseph Akable goes to court for us here at Joy, and that brings us to the end of business. Up next is sports.